What about the, um, well, thank God the, uh, the election, the campaign, two years, two years of that, and thank goodness it's over. What, what did you think of the uh, outcome? Well, I don't get into politics too much. I, I think the other guy, uh, the new guy, you know, can you imagine now the Iranians come crashing into the White House? Mr. President, Mr. President, the Iranians are attacking. Iraq is attacking. Anybody's attacking. Three points. <laughs> See, he was a basketball player, the, pre the new president. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't make me show cards, folks. Don't make me show cards. <laughs> That's what the new president does. He's not going to be in office long. He's going to be walking around saying, there's going to be another war. Stop it, I'm dribbling. Anyway, uh, but these are basketball jokes that I should have never done because... You're just breaking them in. Yeah, just tried it just out on a bad crowd. Out. That's... No. Hey, hey, hey! Don't turn on me. You stood like dummies out in that line on 40, whatever street it is. Go, move up, Al. We're going to be with Dave. Move up, Al. Move up, Al. We're going to be with Dave. Dave. Yeah. That's right. Remember, That's right. drop your pants and fire, fire a rocket. I know you yeah. never forgot oh, that I one. I love yeah. that one. Now, but I remember, uh, for, for, was it the first Reagan inauguration? Yes, I you, was. Uh, yeah. Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank Sinatra, rest his soul. You remember him. Yes. Yeah, he always used to talk about you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's when you were doing a daytime show and nobody gave a crap. <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, he... <laughs> You know, everything I say now on the show, I did up in the hotel room and I laughed my ass off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ronald Reagan, God rest his soul, a great guy. He, well, I knew him when he was governor at the Roast. In those days, we had really great Roast. And, and, and we got to know each other. And I was invited. I was in Hawaii. And the phone rings. And it's Frank Sinatra. Make a long fast forward. And Frank says, Don, get your bags packed, you and Barbara. You're going to be at uh, Ronald Reagan's second inaugural. I said, really, Frank? He said, don't, don't panic. You're in there. And Frank went to the, to the cabinet and said, oh, Rickles is going to make this. Oh, no, there's no Don Rickles. What are you kidding? <laughs> He's going to wipe the whole world out. No, 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 Don Rickles. And Frank said, God rest his heart, he said, if you don't have Rickles, you don't have me. And that's, that's what he said. Wow. And it was so great. And I went to the White House, and my opening line was, I walked out. I had no idea what I was going to say. The Secret, Secret Service said, well, what is he going to say? And Frank said, whatever he wants. He said, well, you, you got you to give him some margin. No, no, Rickles does whatever he wants. And I walked out, and I walked out, I said, Mr. President, I'm talking. Stop, stop napping, I'm talking, for crying out loud. <laughs> and all the Secret Service went, <laughs> 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 Their Uzis went off in the pants. <laughs> 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 Now what, when they heard that again, what did the Secret Service do? When, the, when, they, first, when they first heard that, what did they do again, Don? Don't push it, Dave. <laughs> Don't push it, Dave. <laughs> no, you, and you know what, it was so good, uh, Scott Oswick, he was one of the guys that got us. And in and, and those days they said, that no drinking. Frank said, there was absolutely no drinking. And Dean Martin rested, so I was, can you imagine dressing room, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, myself. And in those days, he, uh, Dean had a, a line of vodka bottles in, in his tuxedo. <laughs> And he said, you got it, Frank. Don and I ain't going to touch a thing. Boom. He walked out and went, to the president. Boom. Boom. <laughs> it was a great night. It really was. I, I remember Billy Graham, God bless him, who is not well, I understand, but he was a great man. Still a great man. And he was sitting ringside. And I, and I looked over and I said, uh, Dr. Graham, this hand, if you could make it better, I'll do anything. <laughs> and all the cabinet did one of these. <laughs> They checked. That's what Sinatra, when Frank first knew me, I went and said, hit somebody, Frank. Be yourself. Relax. Hit somebody. <laughs> so to, so to all the guys with him who are all scientists went, hey. <laughs> Frank, is that funny? Because <laughs> if it wasn't, I'd be on the Jerry Lewis right, telethon. Sure. Now, uh... <laughs> not... oh. Hey, you... God bless Jerry. He does a great job yeah. with that show. You know, I love when he does the, the high note. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. And when he hits the high notes, all the kids get out of their chairs and go home. That's how, that's how that works. Let me, let me ask you, uh, uh, did you, uh... Did you I, know? I preface it by saying Jerry's work is great. That's, that's a joke, and I'm sure he'll be the first one to laugh. Yeah. 
Uh, I've always wanted to ask you this, and I, I think I know the, the answer. Did you know uh, Buddy Rich? Did you ever work with Buddy Rich? Yeah, I knew Buddy well. Yeah. Sure. I knew him when he got in a fist fight and played the drums in the lounge with one hand and bandages. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. He was slammed. Why would you bring up Buddy Rich? Well, because, uh, I don't know, I, I, he's a great drummer, and, and uh, I, I knew that you guys probably knew each other from Las Vegas. Like saying, do you know the guy in the A.M.P. in the grocery store? I mean, well, <laughs> why would you think of Buddy Rich in the middle of no place? I mean, <laughs> Dave, did you know Al Schwartz, a friend of mine? Well... No, I don't. Al Schwartz. No. From left field. He, from left field. He gets me with where, Buddy Rich. I don't know where these things come. Yeah. Buddy Rich is a, was a great drummer. He oh, really tremendous was. drummer. And, and he had, uh, speaking of Jerry Lewis, he loved Jerry and he had cartoons of Jerry. I went and stuff. He used to ride motorcycles. And he and Frank were great during the show. They'd have fist fights during the show. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was great. I never got into that. Jews don't do that. We pay a guy and go, hit somebody. Go ahead. <laughs> Here's a couple of bucks. Knock this guy in his ass. Go ahead. <laughs> couple of bucks. <laughs> That's how we say in New York. Yeah. In Indiana, you don't say that. No. Any milk? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we say. That's exactly what we say. <laughs> I've been milk. in Indiana. Yeah. Had a, lucky you got out of there. Lucky <laughs> it's you got a out. Great, great state. It is a great state if you have nothing to do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don, tell us, uh, if you can, wh one little thing with you and Frank, kind of give us an idea of the relationship. You, you used to like to kind of uh, work him a little bit, didn't you? Kind of yeah, get well, him worked up? Yeah, well, my job was to run in front of the car. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if the brakes were bad, I wouldn't be here tonight, yeah. I'll tell you that. No, he, I, I was very fortunate. The man took a, a great feeling for me, and he, and he adored my wife, Barbara, and that was a big secret, too. But my, my, no, it's the truth, not, not sexually. It was nothing like that. My wife was with a winner. Anyway, uh, she knows when Spider went into action, there was a lot of trouble, boy. That was his name, you know, yeah. Spider. Okay. Anyway, uh, and is Spider still with us? Yeah, he's, he's in the hotel room laying in the pajamas. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Don, uh, let's talk a little bit about this uh, book, Letters, Letters that you've written to uh, friends and colleagues uh, and family members in show business over the years. Fictitious letters, right. Yeah, not, but things that are on your mind. Yeah, that's right. Letters you might write. You're in there. Yes, I'm in there. Yes, I appreciated that. Oh, and, and thank you. Pleasure. And uh, again, congratulations on the Emmy. Uh, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Going to be at uh, Foxwood. Uh, you can now go to Poland. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> he, he used to be an immigration officer. That's right. <laughs> anyway. There you go. <laughs> uh, Don will Don. be at Foxwoods Resort Casino, Connecticut, uh, Saturday. That's right. A big weekend. Uh, how many shows? Three shows? 30, 34 shows. <laughs> no. No, one one show, and then I, then I get on the bus and drive to Indiana <laughs> for the annual corn festival. No. Did I say Connecticut? I meant Spain. He's going to be in Spain. <laughs> Uh, always a pleasure, Don. By God, it's good to see you. Thanks see for you. everything. Great Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Amy Brenneman. I've been trying to get to you for a long